katika Amnesty International azungumze kuhusu swali kuhusu ufisadi na uongozi. Good evening um, the UDA president uh, presidential candidate allow me to start by just welcoming the launch of your manifesto thank you the, uh, the last week. I do hope that you will be able to attend the presidential debate on July the 26th where we can also discuss it um, uh, with other Kenyans. My question is this. Every year, over 150 young men are unlawfully killed by our police officers in extrajudicial killings. In the previous year, we saw the increase go up by 20%. In the 2017 uh, period between the two elections, we saw up to 50 people shot um, and killed by police officers, and we saw 204 uh, women raped, some of them gang raped during that process, and 50% of the perpetrators were police officers. You were silent throughout the nine years of your tenure on this issue. Did you ever have a concern during that period? And why is this now a concern for Kenya Kwanzaa? And if you are elected as the fifth, republic, uh, th fifth president of the republic, how will you tackle this menace? Or will we continue to see God's rivers and God's forests polluted with dead bodies? Um, for your information, Hilton, that is something that is very close to my heart. And I have, within government, if you spoke to the director of intelligence, and I am saying it because I know somebody is listening somewhere, these are issues I have raised with him when he could still pick my phone right these are the things that i i i had serious concerns about what was happening in many parts of our country in moyale in and i remember even calling him one one time and, I, and telling him really i mean it cannot be it cannot have gotten here right i have raised those issues and i have raised many other issues concerning extrajudicial killing until three years ago the president excluded me from attending the National Security Council because I asked tough questions about schemes of murder and things so, so it's, not, it's not something that I just woke up to today. It is something that has concerned me a lot. And that is why I have put it in, uh, or we have put it in the uh, Kenya Kwanza Manifesto, that extrajudicial killing must come to an end. It is illegal. It is unconstitutional. It offends every principle of right to life. And you remember, I made that statement yesterday, for example, in Moyale. And I said, every criminal, however serious, must be taken to court, must be processed through court. If these people are criminals of whatever nature, chronic, terrorists, whatever, there's a, there's a process, you know? And it's the only surest way that we don't kill innocent people. It is the only way we stop killing innocent people. Because in this cloud of extrajudicial killing, oh, he's a terrorist, oh, he's this, that's why he was shot, that's why he was this, you will end up with many innocent people being shot, unlabeled terrorist or criminal or something. So my position is very clear that whatever the issues, we must continuously refine our criminal justice system to make sure that up until we are sure that this is a declared criminal, everybody has been notified, and if in the process of trying to apprehend such person, the police feel they are in danger, or he actually endangers the lives of our security agencies, that's the only time maybe uh, police can use uh, life uh, fire on these people. Right. But up until that time, I am against and I have taken up a, a firm position, and I have told you that for the last almost four years, I have not attended the National Security Council because of some of the questions I asked, which I don't believe in. All right.